I still remember that day when I got my first dog, a golden retriever, home. I was super excited to have a new best friend. But little did I know, I underestimated how hard it can be to raise a puppy. And in the process, I did make quite a few mistakes and learn things the hard way. So today in this video, I will share with you guys the seven major mistakes I did raising my first golden retriever so that you can avoid them. Mistake number one, waiting too long to start the training. A friend of mine convinced me that puppies should be allowed to do whatever they want without any restrictions, and their training should start after they are six months old. The worst advice ever. All dog trainers and experts recommend starting training your pup the moment they come home with you. It will not only shape your dog's behavior, but also strengthen the bond between you two. Mistake number two, not socializing my puppy enough. It is extremely important to positively socialize your golden retriever in their puppyhood. Taking them outside, meeting other dogs, animals, and people, and acclimatizing them to different environments and sounds ensures that your pup grows up to be a friendly and confident dog. I did socialize my puppy, but not enough. He was very friendly with other dogs and people, but he was afraid of cats and car horns. The third mistake that I did, and I am sure many owners do, is overfeeding treats. At one point, I used to treat him a lot. <laughs> and don't blame me, blame my Golden's adorable eyes. But soon enough, he was out of shape, and we had to increase his exercise intensity. So don't repeat this mistake. Yes, treats are one of the best training tools, but they should not make up more than 10% of your Golden's food intake. Mistake number four, not exercising them enough. Goldens are energetic dogs, and it's your duty to release their energy every day. I didn't realize how much physical activity my dog needed, and I under-exercised him. And at the end of the day, he wouldn't sleep and release his energy doing unnecessary things, like chewing furniture or running around the house. So don't do this mistake. Take your golden retriever out for a walk twice a day, Take them for a run twice a week. Take them to a nearby lake for a swim. The fifth mistake I made was letting my golden retriever eat table scraps. Whenever I and my family would eat our meal together, our golden would come and stare at the food and start whining. And we would often give him something from our plate. And soon enough, this became our routine. Do not do that. Do not let their puppy eyes melt your heart. Human food is high in calories, salt, and fat, which could badly affect our dog's health. Mistake number six, not buying dog insurance. Yes, dog insurance is a thing, and it can make a big difference. And every dog owner must consider getting one. Even if your golden retriever is fit and healthy, unfortunate events may occur. They may fall sick or get injured and a good pet insurance can save you a ton of money on vet bills. The seventh mistake, not researching enough about this breed. Every dog breed has a different set of common characteristics. Labradors are known for their friendly nature, Rottweilers make great guard dogs, and Beagles can be a little stubborn. Every breed is different. So instead of reading articles and books about dogs in general, start researching about that specific breed. In our case, that's Golden Retrievers. Learn their history, why they were bred, and what training strategy works best for them. If you want, you can check out my channel. We have tons of videos related to Golden Retrievers. See ya!